the Digital Personal Data Protection Bill, that is DPDP Act 2023, establishes a comprehensive framework for data protection in India, empowering the Data Protection Authority to hold companies and organizations accountable for non-compliance with data privacy regulations. The DPDP Act outlines a structured approach to identify, investigate, and penalize entities that fail to adhere to data privacy principles. Welcome to VAR India News R. After receiving approval from both houses of the parliament and obtaining the president's assent, the Digital Personal Data Protection Bill of 2022 has officially become the Digital Personal Data Protection Act of 2023. This act is now effect and governs the processing of digital personal data in India regardless of whether the data was originally collected in digital or non-digital format and subsequently digitized. Under the DPDP Act, state agencies may be exempted from its provisions at the government's discretion. This legislation is designed to bolster data protection and accountability for entities such as internet companies, mobile apps and businesses that handle citizens' data. The DPDP Act's scope extends beyond the borders of India, encompassing digital personal data processing activities abroad. This extension applies specifically to organizations offering goods and services to individuals in India or engaging in the profiling of Indian citizens. In doing so, the Act fortifies data protection measures not only within India but also concerning Indian citizens' data handled abroad. The PwC India report said 90% of the organizations showed users a privacy notice when collecting data through their websites. But since such a notice is the first step for any organization entering the digital world, the high level of compliance did not indicate the presence of a robust data privacy framework. On the matter of third-party data transfers, 43% of organizations did not provide a clear reason for which personal data was shared with third-party data processors. Experts feel that for organizations in India, it is not only an opportunity to streamline their data collection and processing processes, but also to build customer confidence, stakeholder trust, and enhance their global competitiveness, investing now to become compliant will stand organizations in good stead in the future. Let's look into today's headlines. WhatsApp to allow voice notes in view once mode for privacy. Voice notes are apparently being added to WhatsApp's view once feature that will let users send voice notes in view once mode just like pictures. The feature is reportedly being made available to a small number of beta testers on the WhatsApp beta for iOS and Android. This feature will improve privacy in discussions by enabling users to transmit voice notes that can only be accessed once. Search in warns of prevalent cyber scams and urges vigilance. India's cybersecurity organization Certain observed Cyber Jagrukta Divas to increase public awareness of cyber frauds. They issued a warning about frauds such as updating bank account information or KYC using dubious connections. In order to obtain personal information, cyber crooks frequently take advantage by luring with free gifts offers, threatening to close accounts or blocking debit cards. Users were advised not to give up their personal information. iOS 17.1 update to fix the screen burn-in issue. Apple is expected to release the first major update after the September release of iOS 17 on September 27th. The update not only adds new features to the mobile operating system but also fixes two particular problems with iOS 17. It is anticipated that the update will enhance the phone's responsiveness and resolve an image retention issue that impacted some iPhone models. YouTube to roll out new features including better searching and consistent volume. YouTube's most recent updates include a number of new features and enhancements. Better volume controls, better video searching and an improved viewing and subscription experience are all included in these upgrades. A new U tab has also been created offering access to watch history and account details. IBM with Métis to advance and accelerate AI, semiconductor and quantum innovation. 
in an effort to promote and accelerate innovation in artificial intelligence, semiconductors and quantum technologies for India, IBM has announced the signing of three memorandum of understanding with three organizations involved with the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technologies, that is METI. With the help of these organizations, India hopes to progress its national quantum mission, bolster attempts to become self-sufficient in semiconductors and expedite the country's entire national AI policy. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.